Alright guys, welcome to another beer review here on a absolutely freezing Saturday afternoon and uh, just about to uh, begin cooking a nice big hearty steak and ale pie. I'm going to use a Guinness Extra Stout as sort of like a stock gravy sort of thing. And I thought before I get the veg out, veg out and stuff and prepare the meat, I would uh, open a beer and uh, you know just have a bit of a casual Saturday. So today we have got a Heller's beer from Acro or Arco Bo Moors. I think that's how it's pronounced. And uh, yeah, this is the Heller's beer, lager beer, Bira Chiara. I think that's how it's pronounced. I didn't miss that. Is that over Italian or Spanish? You know, I'm struggling to learn German, so other languages need not come into my vocabulary. But uh, yeah, this is clocking in at 5.3%. And, uh, yeah, I've got to say, really, really like that label. It's got that, like, mixture of um, being quite historic looking, but also a little bit contemporary at the same time. Nice use of colour, you know, showing off that Bavarian flag in the background. And then on the back, pretty much the same. And then you get a nice label on the neck. And then a really nice uh, bottle cap. So, uh, yeah, labels and bottle caps are a keeper with this one. Uh, I have had this a uh, few times before, but I only like the odd bo bottle to have like a casual drink. And uh, I was in the supermarket picking, doing some shopping and uh, I bought a six pack of this for five euros, I think it worked out to. Uh, maybe just a bit less. So yeah, you can't really complain at that to be honest. And I think this would essentially, uh, eventually make its way over to territories outside of Germany considering that, you know, it's got English on the back. So uh, anyway, let's see what we get from this one. Big fan of uh, Heller's beers. Big fan of lagers, actually, in general. I know that's... Um, some people will be like, a lager's a lager, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you look on Rape Beer, Beer Advocate, and uh, Untapped, and, well, especially stuff like um, Rape Beer. You know, lagers get a, such a bad rap. And um, to be honest, I've said this a few times, if I have a really good, solid, tasty, burst quenching, smashable lager, it, for me, can stand up to the craftiest and most insanely uh, brewed beers. Um, you know, just the simplicity of a good lager goes well with every cuisine, goes well with every situation. You know, it's a versatile beer. I mean, yeah, there are some absolutely horrific uh, lagers. I mean, the whole macro lager culture back in the UK. You know, your Carlings, your Carlsbergs, your Fosters. You, you know, those nasty beers, which... And I think it was uh, Craig over at Kent Beer Reviews. We were on a beer chat point, you know, we were talking about it. And he made the point that, you know, you can have, like, a proper night session on, like, a low ABV shit macro lager brewed in the UK, mass produced stuff and you'll feel absolutely horrific the next day but you could have like t a couple of like imperial stouts that completely knock the socks off those beers in terms of ABV and you wouldn't really feel it I mean obviously drinking the equivalent um, then like you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about um, and yeah they just pump them full of shit it seems but uh, thankfully you know Germany very traditional country um, very well established in their brewing history I mean yeah they're taking on uh, the craft beer scene you know with open arms producing some wonderful wonderful beers and breweries but yeah they're really good at lagers and um, yeah I can get them in abundance for a really good price so anyway a little bit of a, a ramble there but as you can see it's what you expect nice golden colour got some almost like a slight honey-like look to it uh, carbonation nice and gentle especially inside the glass and the head uh, didn't really dissipate too much um, and it seems to stay around more like um, soap foam on the water sort of thing uh, yeah nice clarity and it's got a nice sense of vibrancy to it and sort of like a warmth to it like that it's like it's slightly ever so slightly roasty goldy colour. Anyway, it looks really, really good. Let's see what we can get on the aroma. 
and I'm getting biscuits, I'm getting bread. Getting that sort of like spicy, almost smoky malt character coming through there as well. It's predominantly a savoury smelling beer, but there are some hints of sweetness, like maybe a honey, that sort of thing. Almost getting like a, like a slight char in there as well. And like maybe a hint of pipe tobacco. There's a lot going on in this lager, but it still retains its simplicity. Anyway, let's see what it tastes like. Prost. And yeah, it's your above standard, solidly crafted lager. You know, it's not going to be a taste sensation by any stretch, but you drink beers like this, you come to the real, you know, you don't really want, you know, a big hop balm or a big roasty character, that sort of thing. You just want a nice, simple, crisp, clean experience that does have a nice flavour to it. Definitely get a honey-like sweetness there. And those savoury tones are in there as well, but not as predominant as you would expect from the aroma. Nicely balanced. Nice mouthfeel to it. Uh, on the lower end of um, medium. Well, it's more like the higher end of light bodied, I suppose, but not watery. Carbonation, nice and gentle. Helps that beer, you know, dissipate around the mouth nicely. And uh, yeah, a very satisfying prime example of why Germany, you know, are really good at the Heller's beers and lager beers. I mean, you buy a six pack of this, you know, if you're having a curry that night or if you're having a film night, just a nice quiet night in, you want a few drinks, chill this down a little bit and you've got a good time indeed. I could think of much worse lagers, to be honest. It's not my favourite that I've had, um, you know, it's no... Um, Augustina or anything like that or even like Paulana but it's still a very very solid brew and uh, yeah I want to try more beers from these guys so uh, yeah if you've tried this one then I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in terms of a rating I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 mm. I could just polish this off I'd regret it afterwards because that, you know, German lagers do have that tendency to creep up on you, especially in the summer months. You could just chug, 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 chug. You get back to like your apartment, your hotel, whatever, and you're just fucking off your rocker. But uh, if you take your time for beer like this, the flavours are going to stay there. I mean, when it warms up a little bit, it's not going to be as nice, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm waffling on. 8 out of 10. Great little beer. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions. What's your favourite German lager? What's your favourite lager in general? Uh, give me your viewpoints on uh, lager in general. Uh, there's no, you know, wrong opinions on the Clueless Drinker channel, so um, feel free to go against the grain. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, just hit me up in the comments, and I hope I will see you next time. Cheers.